Today, President-elect Joe Biden will receive his first dose of the coronavirus vaccine on live TV as part of a growing effort to convince the American public that the inoculations are safe. The event will come the same day as Moderna's vaccine joins Pfizer's in the national arsenal. Now, top government leaders, including Vice President Mike Pence, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, they got their doses on Friday. Moderna is working to get nearly 6 million doses of its coronavirus vaccine into the arms of millions of Americans. And this rollout, in fact, is four times larger than Pfizer's, which did start last week. And shipments are on the way to a dozen local hospitals as we speak. News for Jack's reporter, Zach Lashway, is live outside Ascension St. Vincent's in Riverside. And Zach, that is one of the local hospitals getting Moderna's vaccine. Yeah, and Melanie, we have a few updates for you at this hour. Within the past few minutes, I heard back from two of the local hospitals reportedly scheduled to receive Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. I heard back from Memorial Hospital. They might receive Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine sometime early next week. An official with Ascension St. Vincent says there is no timeline for them to receive Moderna's vaccine. Here is video of the first wave of Moderna shot on the move. You can see dry ice cooled boxes being loaded onto FedEx planes. Others are on trucks. Moderna's initial shipment is four times larger than Pfizer's rollout with six million doses. Unlike Pfizer's vaccine, Moderna's shot does not need to be kept at ultra cold temperatures, making it more accessible for smaller distribution sites in smaller communities. It also can be kept in a refrigerator for 30 days before it expires. Moderna's vaccine is for people 18 and older, whereas Pfizer's vaccine is for those 16 and older. The two vaccines are similar in that they both use messenger RNA, which means they do not contain live or weakened virus. Both shots are proving to be near 95% effective and both require two doses. And this is very important because a person is not considered to be fully protected until you have both doses. According to the state, as of last night, more than 40,000 people throughout Florida have been vaccinated. Reporting live in Riverside, I'm Zach Lashway, Channel 4, The Local Station.